Well, we just got out from seeing Thor, Love and Thunder, finally. Yeah. Life's been so crazy. We're just now getting around to seeing it. But uh, I thought it was pretty darn good. Yeah. Right off the bat. Definitely worth it. You know, I was hearing a little bit of things. It was, uh, you know, too funny. For me, it could have been a little less funny. Like 10% less jokes, it would have been perfect because I do think Thor Ragnarok was a little bit better, but... Balance-wise, you're saying? Just overall movie. Uh -huh. Just, yeah, balance between the jokes and the uh, the action. Yeah. But that one did have Hulk. I mean, that, that movie was just too good yeah. to top. That was but this movie, movie was still really, really good. Mm -hmm. um, Taika Waititi, anything he touches is just... I love it. I do. I love his humor. I love his... Uh, I just love what he brings to movies. Chris Hemsworth, I love his humor, man. Mm -hmm. And it's so crazy because the guy that like started it all off, his little roommate, with those little jokey commercials, yeah. The dude showed up in the freaking movie. Yeah. And touring the hammer. Jackson with recognized Jane. him. I didn't even yeah, recognize him. I didn't him even yet. recognize him either. Our son had to point that out. That was funny. But uh, that was hilarious. But I thought, like, it was like, from the beginning, I didn't really know what to expect. I knew that Christian Bale was a bad guy. I was like, how is he going to be? You know, you see it opening up and you see his backstory, his villain origin story, I guess you could it say. It starts but... off, it starts off very dark and sad. Yeah. You know, like. I didn't know he had a daughter. And like that would be the reason for his but there's always a reason that they go and they do these things and they think they're doing for the good yeah but i mean as a villain bench. as a villain he was really spooky at times yeah um but at the same time i mean i like i mean he's not very up there as far as villains no. i was hoping for a lot more from christian bale i don't know if they just didn't give him um enough to do because yeah. he wasn't in the movie very much but when he was there man he was menacing he yeah. was spooky he had a little bit of like a joker vibe a little bit like the way he was playful and what he said yeah like his he went voice from, went real light yeah, like uh like oh, a yeah, light-hearted like weird creepy making weird dark jokes towards all the kids and stuff yeah. like that but then he would be like brooding like a batman voice it was like a there was a couple parts where he would just kind of got deep voice like yeah, I liked him. I yeah. liked him. I just wanted more of him. Yeah. You know? Um, I guess so. I, I, really liked, I really liked his spookiness, but I definitely wanted more. He didn't get a lot of screen time, but at the same time, um, you know, I'd rather the villain have a little bit more of a motivation than just being, like, corrupted. Like, obviously, he was mad at the gods. He didn't seem like a very vengeful person. He just like, you know, he was ready to renounce his God and just be done. And then he gets the sword and the sword, like they even say like later on, he's being corrupted. Yeah. So like, you know, whereas Thanos and like Killmonger, you know, they have actual Like action plans before they decided to do what they did, right? You know, you can side with them a little bit. You can see where they're coming from. And with him, you know, I could see where he's coming from. And it definitely showed the gods in a different light to yeah. where it was like all the gods are just a-holes. Yeah. You know, they do not care. Although he's like mad that the gods won't really do anything to help. But then he takes the Asgardian kids and he's like kind of banking off of them, the the gods that was coming a weird, to help them. Yeah, that was a weird dynamic. Like it's he like, knew well, that the gods were, he thought that the gods, all gods were selfish. You know what I mean? Like there wasn't a god out there that wasn't going to care about. Thor is selfish, by the way, dude. He's so. Dude. He is to a point, but you can see why he is a hero. But like, yeah. I, I don't know. Just, I, I felt like, hey, for if him. you do die, if you do die, at least you'll go to Valhalla. Yeah, when no, he said that to the like, like, kids, like, that's please another, leave. That's a Taika Waititi thing. That's another jab of of humor in the middle yeah, see, of See, that's the, the thing where the humor, crazy. like at the beginning, they're going over Thor's backstory and it's so sad going over all the people he's lost. And it's just almost like to the point to where it's making fun of him. Yeah. And I feel so bad for Thor, dude. And it's like, he's so lost as a character. Like even uh, Star-Lord says that he's lost. He doesn't know who he is. And you really feel it. He is yeah. such a lost person. You're like, what the heck is going on with me? So stupid. It's like, one just, day, I hope you just look into the eyes of the people that you love, and he's just moving. <laughs> yeah, and you feel like he doesn't oh my even God, look at you. him. Yeah, it's just horrible. I, I don't like that dynamic. I wish he would just, like, look at him. Thor needed your love at that point. 
he needed Star-Lord. somebody. He needed but he still somebody. got Korg. At least his face by the end. And Jane. That was awesome. I love that. She was, that. oh man, she was really good. Natalie Portman did an amazing job. And I that felt was, so bad for her. Yeah, that and was a surprise for me that she had cancer. Like that, was, when yeah. they put, brought that up in the thing, I was like, there's no way that I thought that it would go there. I thought it was just going to be, she I was, was like, just is she in chemotherapy door. right now? Yeah. What in the world? That was definitely a shocker. That was a bomb. Usually you don't get surprised by movies anymore. It's like a... A predictability so I like when you can throw stuff in there and, and surprise I mean, you, you know Natalie that. Porton she probably makes a lot of money yeah and they're probably like okay we'll bring you back but uh, we this is the yeah. we cannot afford you anymore. <laughs> we can't afford you for another movie so we're gonna have to so create they, something unfortunately she did pass away at the end and I it was sad yeah I was really hoping that Gore was going to make the wish yeah to bring her back because they're yeah. even showing Thor hold Jane and they're th- showing gore flashback to when he was holding Holding his daughter daughter. just like that yeah and then it throws you for another loop yeah and it's like nah jane dies gore dies the daughter comes back and the title love and thunder is all about thor becoming a father to a daughter at the end i I absolutely like at first during that eternity part where he's up there he's about to make his wish i'm like there's no way he's gonna see his wrongdoings and he's gonna look at this picture and he's gonna flash back to his daughter and then he's gonna save jane and then they can live happily ever after and i was upset when it didn't happen but then when you realize that it was to break in him having that daughter father daughter relationship i love the way they did that that was an awesome end to the movie i think but see there's a few things though yeah i'm so confused is that actually gore's daughter or was it just eternity taking the shape of his daughter because it shows oh yeah the him make the wish and then it shows the reflection of eternity standing over him yeah and then it like switches and it's her and i'm like wait what and then she has like superpowers That's and stuff. A, yeah, like how did she So get I'm the like, are you even Gore's daughter truly, or are you just like her skin and you're just Eternity? So now Eternity's like an actual character. And then, dude, they were just throwing stuff at the wall at the end. Like, okay, they, they needed that, he needed the axe to get to Eternity. But then Thor just like teleports there with Zeus's lightning bolt. Yeah. And then Jane shows up. I was like, what does Mjolnir like have the ability to open portals now? And my son's like, no, 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 that was, that was a uh, uh, Valkyrie's horse that did that. I'm like, what? So his, her horse has the ability to open portals now. Okay, like they're just, everything has the ability to open portals. It was weird. They could just fast like, travel across getting... the universe with everything. Yeah, they definitely didn't explain that, but I, I mean, don't know. I, and then Thor just, you know, he gives his power to all the kids at the end that was a couple actually parts a part, though. like i said they could have pulled back some of it like 10 to 15 percent less humor would have been perfect for me yeah the dumpling cartoon dumpling that was random Very i was random. just like what yeah, and right. zeus they like they almost made a mockery of certain things that were yeah. i'm like okay this could have been taken a little more seriously yeah russell crowe in gladiator and then you got him as zeus and I'm like, bro, you're like holding up your skirt as you're coming down the stairs. What that is going was, on? I thought that was. I laughed, actually, that was but I was part. still like, what? He just like racing down the stairs. Dude, I laughed. Don't get me wrong, I freaking laughed. It was funny, but dang, dude, I felt a little bit like, dang, it's the first time we he see just, Zeus, he made, and he's oh, making a mockery of him. Like he, he's not paying oh, attention. You going? Oh, okay, okay. He uh, I didn't let that guy go, but he wasn't paying attention. <laughs> <being nice. laughs> He, they over, they oversold it of making fun of the way that Zeus was. But I don't know. They probably played into that to where. Oh, they made fun of too much stuff, dude. Thor is sitting there getting information from the kids, trying to like console them because they're still trapped. And Valkyrie is tickling his nose on the other side, like pulls him out of it. I'm like, what are you doing? Yeah, right. Why are you doing that? But I still, again, I laughed. Yeah. I was like, that's funny the whole dynamic between thor and his hammer and axe is so dumb that was but it's hilarious where he's just like it is so dumb taika waititi is such an idiot but at the same time it's It's so funny funny. it's so stupid to the point that it's funny yeah i lie enjoy that sometimes but you're right it should it could have been dialed down just a little bit there's a couple parts that we could have gone without that would have been fine but overall it was I think it was good. What was your favorite part of the movie? Gosh. 
Um, probably when... <laughs> probably when uh, it goes into the scene where he's making pancakes for her and she's like asking him what they are and then they, oh, she God. says something super smart to him and then they start getting ready because she doesn't want to put her boots on. I just, that whole dynamic, seeing it in real life just made me feel like you were going to be going through that. She's going to yeah. have arguments about not wanting to wear the kind of shoes or whatever. Jess is pregnant right now yeah. with a girl, <laughs> our first girl. So she's like, as soon as she's like, oh my gosh, Thor's going to be a dad to a daughter and so are you. And so are you. I think <laughs> the movie got a 10 out of 10 from Jess right there in yeah. the moment. <laughs> But just when they were rocking it out and then they start describing the two of them and they just jump into the air and they're about to go into battle, that was awesome. And then they're like, Dude, love and thunder. Korg narrates so much in this movie. There's yeah. probably like 20 minutes of Korg narrating at the beginning and then at the end. I don't know, dude. Probably yeah. not that much, but it, it, it was good. The narration, I usually don't like narration in movies, but uh, I liked it. Korg is just such a good character. And oh my gosh, when he almost died, we were like, oh, dude, the yeah. theater was... It was, we were all dying. Yeah, it was awful. Awful. Oh my gosh. I thought he was dead. But he's like, here I am. I was like, oh, thank goodness. <laughs> I'm like, under Thor, here. Thor down here. I'm like, what? He's still alive. Oh, thank he's so goodness. funny, dude. He's one of the best characters ever. Um, there's a lot to like, that you could really pin, like nitpick in this movie. There's so much to nitpick. Yeah. But so it was so. Especially you nitpicker over here. Man, you know, life's too short to nitpick that much. I mean, it was a fun movie. The action was really good. Uh, my favorite part, it's a really stupid part, but at the beginning when Thor is fighting <laughs> with the Guardians of the Galaxy, they're kind of sitting back watching him fight, and the two motorcycle like hovercrafts are coming at him, mm. and he does the split, and they're like revving up faster, yelling at him, and he's like yelling back yeah, at them. Yeah, that it was, was funny. so stupid, but it was so funny, mm. man. Oh my gosh. That um, is funny. What was your least favorite part? Like, I don't know, because there was a lot, like, the, overall this movie was good to me, but, like, I feel like there wasn't a lot of memorable parts. Like, even the parts where him and Jane got their alone time and stuff, I wanted it to be more, like, I, they, I believe them as a couple, obviously, they love each other, but I feel like... I could have gotten into the emotion a little bit more. You know, with the, with all these movies coming out lately being two and a half hours long. I yeah. mean, Stranger Things season finale was two hours and something long. Yeah. This was shorter than the Stranger Things finale. Yeah. So it could have definitely been longer and fleshed some of those scenes out. I think yeah. it would have been better if it was about 20 minutes longer. Yeah. Maybe um, we gotten a little bit more of that. But maybe it wouldn't have felt like the comedy was too overwhelming at parts either if it was a little 20 minutes longer. All serious, like moments adding to people's character a little bit more mm -hmm. um it could have definitely been a I little think bit better in that if they, aspect i think my least favorite part was them going to ask zeus for the bolt and i feel like that whole part was over overdrawn if they would have just gone in there and have been like maybe he did a trick with his as lightning bolt they made a plan to go you know defeat the people while they weren't looking or whatever yeah. and then he showed off his and you could show what a pompous arrogant god he was you could show that without him saying orgy about five times and then i mean honestly that was all over. set up for the next movie it yeah. felt like because they did show in the after credit scene that thor that uh oh <laughs> zeus yeah wrong pentology yeah uh zeus is still alive and he wants hercules to go low get. budget CGI Hercules yeah. to go after. Him. Okay. <laughs> I've seen a lot of Hercules. That was probably the worst. He one was I've very seen. Okay. lack. I don't know the word lackluster. Lackluster. There wasn't. Okay. Yeah. There wasn't any. He didn't sparkle for me. Was yeah. Like a, I was like, I, it did not get me excited and, to see uh, yeah. Hercules versus. It wasn't Thor, like but. Eternals was my least favorite Marvel movie. We're not talking about that one, but it wasn't like the end when Harry Styles pops out of nowhere oh and Charlize Theron, and I'm like, what? Come on now. What? Charlize Theron was at the end of uh, Doctor Strange, that's by the way. That's a different way. one. I'm Anyways, sorry, that's a different one, and I did like the Doctor Strange. The Harry but. Styles with the bad CGI gnome guy was pretty good. I'm that was way better lie. than the Hercules. I'm just saying if it you would have had somebody just bust out there like i don't know i feel like we could have had somebody better for hercules could have had the same scene but just is. you know make hercules a, uh, a little bit better That's yeah all. just come out a little it's bit. fine yeah. it's fine it's fine okay and jane went to valhalla so harry That's styles could have played hercules they could my do god two. are you kidding me two different characters are you kidding me jess <laughs> harry styles is hercules That's the worst miscast ever no that'd be wonderful 
<laughs> you freaking... I'd watch that movie. Yeah, what is it? A, a, <laughs> what, a cradle robber? <laughs> no, not a cradle robber. <laughs> I mean, he's in his early 20s, okay? I'm allowed to appreciate. You are. He's probably a good actor, too. That's what I'm saying. I'm just saying. Probably no. both of both, best of both worlds. Overall, I did really like Thor Love and Thunder. Um, there were moments that I didn't like, but overall, by the end, as the credits were rolling, I was really happy. Mm-hmm. I was really happy. Yeah. I feel like it was all these things were happening and then they did the whole uh, the kids were stolen like it's it's basic um, old cartoon and comic book kind of things that happen like so there's the villain and the villain does something bad and then you gotta go it was very cookie you gotta cutter. go after yeah it was but very you I know like I've seen this. that story play out I like a this. lot and then when it was it's all happy ending wrong. for everyone though it's hard to get wrong with that's, that I like those Except I do Jane. like those stories I mean Jane is in Valhalla yeah. you know what Jane that, is in Valhalla Jane Seeing Heimdall in Valhalla. That was awesome. It was very heartwarming. I, I love have to that. Say, I loved it. And I then, feel like that was a happy ending. Boom, it was. That literally made it to where it was a happy ending for everyone. I, I really do feel like at the end it was a happy ending for everyone. Except Quan Chi from Mortal Kombat. I mean, uh, Gore. <laughs> Gore got to ha- know that his wife or his daughter was coming back and You're he right. was going to be taking, she was going to be taken care of and he got to die knowing that he did what he thought was right anyway he didn't kill all the gods so that's good i guess he you're right became you're right it was a great movie 10 yeah, out of 10 i think so no i'm not gonna give a score like that or anything honestly no scores, this is but... our first review um this is our first of many but you know we're not gonna do like a a breakdown like probably you're used to just kind of talking about how we felt about it and everything yeah, like, like that. Yeah, like a conversation. Fireside chat, man. Keeping it chill. That's what it is. I like it. So, yeah. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you enjoyed the movie as much as we did. Mm-hmm. And, yeah, we'll see you all in the next one.